Hello everyone and welcome back or welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be a meet my horses as I haven't done one yet and it's definitely going to clear up and organize my channel a bit. But before I actually get into anything, I do want to say that the WWEC website has been updated in terms of lesson, staff, and boarding information. This does not mean that those programs are open. This only means that the information on these programs have been plugged into the website, which I will link in the description. So I'm going to introduce both Emma and I's horses to you all, followed by each of our lesson horses. I'll try my best to keep the introduction short and sweet, but I can't make any promises. Thank you for clicking on this video and thank you guys so, so, so much for all the recent support. So first I'm gonna start off with my personal horses. This is Milo. He is my main boy, purchased in August of 2018. He's an eight-year-old Belgian warm-blood gelding, and I quote-unquote bought him right before I went to college, and I don't really consider it buying him more like he was dropped into my lap. He was completely green when I first purchased him, and I trained him literally from the ground up. He was my main man all throughout college, and still is, but I have more horses now. He's the oldest of all of my horses, but still manages to be the least mature. I, I really have no idea how he does it. I have him competing in four star venting and all three rings from time to time. He's the definition of bomb proof. Like I could stick the most nervous lesson kit on him and he'd still be perfect. He's really friendly and honestly kind of an idiot, but I still do love him. He tends to perform perfectly in the arena and is just a saint in the show ring. So in short, Milo was what I like to call given to me. Although I technically purchased him for around 500 Jorvik shillings from a rundown farm right next to my college. I bought him during my blonde highlights phase, as you can tell. Yikes. When I first got him, he was fully convinced that he was some sort of bronco. I, his favorite activity was trying to get me off of his back. It was not my favorite activity, I can tell you. But after some time, he finally warmed up to me and actually let me ride him. Shocker. I slowly introduced him to eventing and I noticed that he loved to run, both with me on his back and in turnout. Literally a psychopath in turnout. He's since learned collection, but he really has never grown out of his cult phase. And after around a year of ins and outs in our training, I took him to his first show, which was a 3-6 jumper course at Paddock Island. and. Surprisingly, he pulled through and won, despite some rough long spots, which I have since grown to adjust to. After this, his career really took off, and he's just... I love him. I know I yapped about him, like, just way too much, but he is my heart horse, and he always will be. I love him to death. So, next is Bo. I bought her last summer from the South Huff Rescue Center. And she wasn't a rescue rescue, but an abandoned birthday gift. Other than that, the SHRC didn't know much else about her past. I picked her up from the SHRC legit out of the blue in the most literal way possible. I have a few friends that work there and they called me about her and I saw her and I sped over. <laughs> Bo is a five-year-old Pintabian Dutch warm blood cross mare. She's really an all-arounder and can do literally anything. She does have a large space bubble, but she really isn't aggressive. She's not bad. She doesn't try to be bad. My first ride on her was literally pure chaos. I remember going to the riding arena on a rainy day. It was grossed out and I fell at least three times. And I could tell that it was because she didn't trust me. But after weeks of work, she finally began to build up a relationship with me and open up. She's a fantastic girl with an overflow of scope and just the perfect gates. She's a speed demon on cross country courses and in the jumper ring, but knows how to slow her roll when needed. She's a bit hot, bronking in the ring, but only when she's too excited. It's easy to control and limit if she trusts you and you know how to handle a hot horse. After a little bit, we finally went to a two day show in Goldenleaf. Our first class was hunters, which we didn't place in. <laughs> However, the next day, which was jumpers, we placed third. She's never spooked a day in her life and probably never will. She's just a brave girl, and I love traveling with her to different tracks and locations. She's really so sweet when you get to know her, and is just a blessing, honestly. Next up is Huron, my favorite idiot. 
So, Huron is a six-year-old American paint horse Oldenburg cross gelding. I purchased him from Crescent Moon Village back in December of 2023. He's not exactly green, but he is inexperienced and needs some time to sort out his insane uncoordination. He needs to learn the ropes of everything before he starts doing anything big, and the max I've jumped him so far is about 2-3. He's clumsy and needs to work on reshaping his muscles. I do love him though, and he's a very fun ride. He just needs a bit more smoothing out. He's a goofball, literally, but mainly just an idiot. He's a slug usually, but once he knows you mean business, he'll step it up. He's never attempted to get me or Emma off of his back. He's incredibly sweet and tries his best to impress his rider. Never once has he refused, even for his first few times jumping with me. He needs to figure out how to adapt his strides, depending on the jump height and distance. He puts his full trust in his rider, which is both a good thing and a bad thing. In summary, he looks like a deer when he jumps, but he's slowly molding into a good form. I took him over some smaller cross-country jumps a few times, and he enjoys being out on the trails much more than being in an enclosed arena. I'll most likely either sell or lease him out once I finish polishing him off, but we'll see. Really, the only thing that I know about his past was that he and his sister, who we'll introduce next, were living out in an old farm in the Forgotten Fields. He was mainly used for pony rides and the occasional lessons, However, his sister remained unused. Speaking of Huron's little sister, this is she. So this is Jordana. She is a five-year-old American paint Oldenburg crossmare, just like her brother. You guys probably haven't met her yet unless you follow my Instagram, but here she is. She's kind of the inverse of her brother, coat color-wise, as you can see. She's a handful, not in a hot way, but in a baby way, since she's young and inexperienced. She's been worked under saddle quite a bit, and recently has been hopping over 18-inch cross rails and verticals. When I got her and her brother, she hadn't been ridden under saddle, but was used to having weight put on her and wasn't completely a baby. She's a very quick learner and has a ton of spunk and energy. She's very quick and tends to rush into things, which hopefully I can sort out. I hope to mold her into a jumper as she has a ton of potential and prospect. She's not very trusting, but slowly warms up to people. She definitely follows her brother's lead and tends to trust who he trusts. She, however, certainly got the brains in the family. Sorry, Huron. Aphrodite, Panda, and her are are always causing some sort of trouble and turnout. I'm most likely going to do the same thing with her depending on what I do with her on selling or leasing her out basically. Or keeping her. We'll see. Right now, she's been on a ton of mane strengthening supplements as I'm trying to grow her mane out. When we got her, her mane was just disgusting and falling out in chunks, so we had to roach it, and I'm hoping that I can grow it back out, but We'll see. Next is my only pony boy. This is Abel, an eight-year-old Dartmoor Welsh pony cross gelding. I purchased him in the same time frame as I bought Jordana and her on. He definitely gave me quite the introduction as on the way home in the trailer, he chewed a hole through his leaf rope. He's got the same personality as her on and the two are practically glued to one another. He's got a ton of energy, spunk, and speed. He's the perfect three-ringer pony, and I will also probably use him for lesson kids, as he's a great horse to learn from. He's such a sweet little man and loves attention from anyone and anything. He's very curious and has the perfect hunter and EQ pony gates. I'll most likely lease him out slash sell him at some point after the showing season, but I'll keep everyone updated. I got him from a family in Fergrove that was moving into Governor's Fall and didn't have land to keep him. He's got an impressive showing record as well as some nice lineage. This is Fisher. Fisher is a six-year-old curb gelding that I purchased last month from Juniper Hill Equines, which I believe has since closed down. I really don't know. But he is such a wonderful addition to the little family. He's a bit of a handful, more in an excited way, and took quite a while to warm up to me, but we've improved as a pair a ton since then. He's very excitable and has a ton of speed in him. I'm most likely going to turn him into a jumper. He's got insane scope and such smooth gates. He's very honest and will tell me if I screw up, which is quite a lot. I don't know a lot about his past, but I do know that he'll most likely be moved into our lesson program once he warms up nicer to the facility and the idea of being lesson horse. Obviously, if he doesn't like the lesson program, I'll remove him from it. So now I'm just going to give you guys a quick rundown on Emma's horses. So first is Eclipse, her 23-year-old retired Shetland pony. Eclipse is an old soul, purchased by Emma when she was six. The pair are matching in ages, and Eclipse isn't ridden anymore, but frequently walked out and lunged. He enjoys his retirement, aka annoying the other horses in turnout. He's really a sweetheart and was a wonderful three-ringer in his prime, 
Emma loves him to bits and is attached to him like glue. Eclipse and Milo favor each other, and I think that it's the cutest thing because like, just look at the height difference. Next up is Cinnamon, a nine-year-old off-the-track thoroughbred mare purchased by Emma on her 16th birthday. She's a very talented eventer and she and Milo have been head-to-head -head competing for a while. She is such a gorgeous girl with the sweetest soul. She's very speedy with the most on-point, off-the-track thoroughbred personality I've ever seen. She's so talented and really does her job above and beyond. Last but not least, introduced the most recently, is Pearl. But for those who haven't seen the last video, I'll give a little rundown for her. Pearl is an 8-year-old Andalusian Dutch Warmblood cross mare who Emma has also begun competing in 2 to 3 star eventing with. She was purchased from Moreland Staples just a few weeks back and has already been showing off her fancy moves at the facility. Now I'm going to rapid-ish fire introductions to our lesson horses, but if you'd like to read the information, there is a page on our website dedicated to our lesson horses. The website link will be in the video description and my channel description. First up is Daylight, Dea for short. She's been a recurring face on my channel for about three videos in a row and is slowly molding into the perfect lesson horse. She's not currently in the lesson program, but will be soon. She's a seven-year-old Mustang quarter horse mare that I rescued from an abandoned farm that I checked out while facility shopping. She's slowly regaining balance and muscle and should be up and running soon. Next is Snowy, a 10-year-old Hanoverian Tennessee Walker cross mare. She's mainly used for beginner riders, especially those learning to canter and jump. Her max height right now is 18 inches, but we're hoping to get her to her full potential. She's quite spooky, but nothing too serious. She's perfect for teaching riders to use leg commands over ring commands with certain horses. Next up is our old soul, Arthur. He's a 17-year-old Ardenese gelding, used mainly for therapy slash pony rides and walk trot canter lessons. Although he's quite tall and most certainly not a pony, he has such a mellow demeanor that little kids and therapy riders just love him. He's a bit lazy and certainly not a push button, so he's great for beginners to learn on. This is on our website in better detail, but I'll explain it quickly here. We got him as a rescue from Paddock Island. He was dumped off by a family moving away from Jorvik. He had been a pasture pet beforehand and his mane was just disgusting and completely unmanageable when we first got him. It was so bad that we couldn't even detangle it no matter how hard we tried. So we roached it and will continue to roach it as he definitely prefers this since his mane is so thick and grows very quickly. Next up is Ringo, a tiny little six-year-old halflinger Dartmoor cross gelding. He's used for intermediate to advanced riders and jumps around a max of 2-3. He was purchased from Goldspur Estates and has a ton of speed in him. Legit, his walk to canter is like a rocket launch. He knows how to collect, but only with riders that know how to take slash give with his reins rather than just hanging on his face. Following up on the speedy ponies, this is Pepper, a 9-year-old Shetland pony mare. She was purchased from New Hillcrest Stables and is used for all three rings, up to around 3'3". Three three. She's used for pony rides as she knows when there's younger kids on her back and behaves accordingly. We also use her for intermediate flatware students as she's good to learn from. Although she does throw some excited Bronx around, she knows how to respond to riders. She's only jumped by advanced riders who are level headed enough to balance out her chaos. Quite the opposite from our ponies, we have Moana, a 19-year-old Dutch warm blood mare. She's a 3-9 hunter purchased from Gomley Stables. She's got the cutest knees to nose and fancy gates. She's used for all lessons from walk trot to adult hunter lessons. She really is a perfect girl. She prefers isolation and has a big space bubble, but will never outwardly attack any other horse or person. Now we have Geronimo, who you guys probably already know. But if you don't, here he is. He's an 11-year-old thoroughbred warmblood gelding. He's very honest and jumps up to 2-6, mainly in hunters. He's used from beginner lessons all the way up to advanced riders. He's great to teach beginners how to ride a bit more assertive with certain horses, as he's hesitant to listen to newer riders. Essentially, he tests everyone that gets on his back. He was purchased from the SEC about a month back. Next up, another familiar face, Sugar. Sugar is a 7-year-old Morgan Dartmoor cross mare purchased from Jorvik Staples. She's a friendly hunter up to 3-3. She can save any tough spot and is also used in mock draw canter lessons as she's perfect to test riders. Now we have Coffee, Clover's older brother. Coffee is a 13-year-old American quarter horse gelding used for all three rings up to 2-3. He's got perfect smooth gates and his speed ranges perfectly for all riders. He's used for any kind of lesson and can adapt perfectly to any rider. Next is Clover, a 9-year-old American paint thoroughbred cross mare. She was purchased from Moreland Stables and competes in jumpers up to 1.25 meters. She's basically a workaholic and loves her job. She's super sweet on the ground, and the second she's in the arena, she's focused enough for anything. 
This is Aphrodite, a 15-year-old Napstripper mare purchased from Vineyard Cells. She's too smart for her own good and loves causing chaos with Panda and Ordana. She's a very talented eventer and is used from intermediate to advanced riders, as she's considered a bit too headstrong for beginners. Here is Frosty, purchased from Jorvik Horses Organization. Frosty is a 13-year-old Arabian mare who was given up by family moving off to America. She's used in dressage and cross-country along with General Flat. She can really be used by any rider, but mainly for intermediate to advanced lesson students. Now, Panda. Panda is a part of the little trio of Jordana and Aphrodite. She is such a playful girl. She was rescued from the Golden Leaf Kill Pen and is in lessons as of right now. She was a pasture pet and out of work for a very long time, so we're working on building her muscle up. She's a six-year-old Trackner mare that was previously trained in eventing. Last but not least is Lovey. Lovey is an eight-year-old Cobb Cross gelding rescued from Hollow Woods Rescue. He's a very sleepy boy and loves his nap time. Due to his build, he's really only used for walk trot, canter lessons, up to 18-inch jumpers. He's the perfect teacher for lesson students that need to work on leg strength. Okay, so all of this footage was filmed around a month back, and now as you can see, I'm staying at the Equestrian Festival housing out in Jarlheim. I got the invite a few weeks back and was just ecstatic. At the end of March, I ended up traveling out to Jorvik Stables to get the horses and I settled in. Yes, I will announce what horses I've brought in the next video, which will be based on the Equestrian Festival. I've settled in, which is nice, and I've attended some clinics and schooling shows provided by the lovely employees of the Equestrian Festival. Emma is also here with me, and she's brought Cinnamon and Pearl with her, and I'm so excited to film my experience here at the Equestrian Festival, and thank you guys so much for the support and love. Bye!